everyone, welcome to Asian Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by Bell, Bharat Electronics Limited. Now, um, on the official website, we can go to the job notifications page and uh, we can just look out for the notification which has been released for um, trainee engineer one positions in the Bangalore complex. Now, you can click on the detailed advertisement and uh, just check out a 14 page notification which has been released. Just the main points will be referring towards this notification. Uh, over here, uh, partially the partially the notification is in Hindi and partially it is in English. So over here, trainee engineer TEEM and TEBG. Two positions are there. There are two job codes which are mentioned for both of them. The degree qualification which is mentioned over here it is you know, that means you need to have a four years of degree um, in your b btech apart correspondingly to the vacancies over here electronics for tbg positions there are a total of 488 right 258 for electronics mechanical 131 computer science 44 and electrical 55 positions apart from that electronics 43 uh, mechanical 55 and electrical 24 position total 122 for teem positions now over here, um, reservation is mentioned and the posting of the job will be in Bangalore. So TEBG will be only in Bangalore and um, TEEM will be across India. It can be anywhere. So 122 posts over here are applicable for all throughout India. And uh, the other ones are only for Bangalore uh, area. Now, uh, please note that walk-in selections for both job codes will be conducted on the same day. So there will be a walk-in selection which will be considered and therefore the candidates are requested to choose apply only for one job code. So yes, you have to choose corresponding to your preferability of your job location and everything. Now you can see the age limit over here. The age limit is 192025 and the age limit should not be more than 28 years for general and EWS candidates and obviously relaxation will be there for OBC and SCST category. For OBC, there will be a three years of relaxation and for SCST, there will be a five years of relaxation over here, right? And apart from that, you need to submit your 10th class certificate as well, um, corresponding to your uh, birth certificate, right? Candidate seeking age relaxation will be required to attach a copy of relevant certificate along with the application and submit in the original case of selection, right? And uh, apart from that, here they have mentioned that OBC category should be before, uh, on or after 1920, uh, that means 1st of September 2024, uh, belonging to EWS category and should produce a certificate issued for the year of 2024 and 2025, on or after 1st 4, 2025. Um, and correspondingly, uh, education qualifications have been mentioned that four years of degree shall be required and you need to have a passing certificate, right? for electronics, mechanical, computer science, and electrical, all of the branches which have been mentioned. And the name of the, uh, you know, stream which is there, which should be there on your certificate or, or on your uh, passing degree, it should be either, for electronics position, it should be either electronics, electronics communication, electronics telecommunication, electronics and instrumentation communication, and telecommunication, right? All of these names can be preferred for the electronics positions. For mechanical, mechanical engineering, mechatronics and industrial engineering and management should be mentioned. And for computer science, computer science, computer science engineering, computer science engineering and engineering, information technology, information science and engineering. So these can be considered and for electrical, electrical and electrical electronics engineering shall be considered. Right. So please always keep it in mind the name of your uh, degree, name of your qualification always matters. Uh, over here. Now, trainee engineers will be engaged in an initial two years with, uh, you know, which may be extended for one more year. Maximum tenure will be of three years. For first year, your pay will be uh, 30,000 rupees per month. For second year, it will be 35,000 rupees per month. And third year, if it is extended, it will be 40,000 rupees per month. Right. And um, your, you, you'll be giving remunerations of for amount of 12,000 rupees for your medical and etc, etc, et all other allowances which are there 12,000 rupees will be given to you um, advancement of trainee engineer to a project engineer as the criteria is mentioned over here trainee engineer who has completed a tenure of two years with bell and trainee 
may be considered for advancement of project engineer one positions in the same unit subject to the following criteria while your performance uh, during the training process will should be 80% or above marks and aggregate attendance should be greater than 80 mark percent as well and trainee engineer must not have any adverse remarks against him or her in the preceding 2 years right so you need to keep this in mind this will be your training period and you can be extended towards a higher position of a project engineer in which your monthly remuneration can be as high as 1 lakh rupees uh apart from that um here they have mentioned what kind of work you will be doing um on the fields and which is required to be uh, considered if you want to consider you can consider them right of how to apply uh, just go to jobapply.in and slash bell2025 bng complex and you can apply for the positions now over here online link for pre registration also for walk in selection will be available from 24th of september to 7th of october 2025 so keep this in mind the registration will be online but the selection process uh, for the interview shall be offline right it will be a walk in interview through this link um so that's it the considerations um over here uh, while the candidates meeting the qualifying criteria and whose online applications have been accepted while previously shortlisted for the written test right and the candidates who meet the qualifying criteria and whose online applications are accepted will be sent an sms or an email uh, so you will be called for a written test as well and then offline written test in the offline uh, positions right and the date of the written test have been also mentioned over here for electronics and mechanical it will be 25th of october and computer science and electrical it will be 26th of october in bangalore right and um, in this examination written test 85 questions will be there duration will be 90 minutes and uh, each question will be given one mark and there will be a negative marking of 0.25 marks so offline consideration is there for the examination and the written test will be there in bangalore only so you need to travel to bangalore and uh, afterwards form filling application fee 177 rupees including gst for unreserved ews and obc sc st and uh, pwbd category is exempted from any payment right and uh, apart from that that's it the main considerations have been mentioned so documents which are required to be uploaded are as follows right regular whenever you are filling the form all the basic considerations of your degree caste certificate medical certificate med medical allowances and everything shall be there with you all um written test qualifying marks 35% has been mentioned for general and ews and obc and for sc st it is 30% right just go to the official website and apply if you are considering to join um bharat electronics limited so that's it from this particular notification not major points just for instance if you want to see the last date it is 7th of october 2025 so that's it from this video i hope it was useful for you share it with your friends do like this video subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you